So hey, amazing parents, here are three ways to get your teenagers to really, really listen to you. First, you've got to think about the timing. You've got to be able to read the room and know when the timing is right. A lot of times we have the right things to say, but sometimes we choose the wrong timing and it just it just gets everything not really heard. So timing is important. The tone of our voices is the second T. It's really, really important, the tone of our voices. Because if we come at them, then they, they, they're not going to listen to us. But when you talk to them and with them, your tone calms down. You can still be firm, but your tone calms down. You're not in that yelling um, mode or angry mode um, and they can hear you better. Your, your voice, your message is clearer. The third T is actually the thing you want to say, that talk that you want to have. What is that talk you want to have? Have you kind of considered that talk? Have you looked into that talk? Have you screened that talk and taken off the criticisms that might be in there, the assumptions that may be in there, the insults that might be in there, the judgments that might be in there? Have you done that? If you can do these through your talk, your talk will be clearer for them to hear and clearer for them to listen to. And I think that's the goal with all of us as parents. We want to be listened to. It's really frustrating when we're not listened to, when we feel unheard. So these three T's, the timing, the tone, and the talk, very important.